Hello guys, today I am showing you this awesome JMGO projector. What's special about this is it's a short throw projection. Um, so that's why I put it really close to the screen here that I just set up for this review. So opening the box, you're going to have just a few items, not so many um, adapter cable for the ad adapter USB to USB-C connection the device itself the remote and the use user manual okay and there is an app that you can download JMGO app right here or you can just scan this QR code and you can just forget about the manual because there's a manual on the application I prefer it that way but some other people they might want to keep this around it's up to them so here is the box I really like the box because I think it's expensive box view premium uh, very thick but anyways forget about the box here is the device itself with the remote controller this feel premium okay you get what you pay for very expensive projector and we're gonna test it out in a second here we're gonna plug it in so uh, as you can see let's look around there is a camera right here that's for your motion uh, gestures uh, controllers like raise the volume up left or right fast forward stop and all that here is a sensor for your remote controller and this is the front on I mean the top and here is where it's project the screen at okay and it has a smart features somewhere in here that actually detect uh, a dog or a child that look directly into the eye uh, into the projections location right here so that's really cool if you have a little kids around or pet it doesn't hurt their eyes there's a microphone somewhere here and this is the power button okay and from here you can see that there is a lot of inputs DC LAN uh, SPDIF I've never used it before so I don't really know USB 2, USB 1 and HDMI 2, HDMI 1 and the one that mark uh, HDMI 1 ARC that's actually for your audio uh, connection is if you have like 5 channels, 7 channels surround sound system use HDMI 1 because it's gonna give you the best sound experience ever so let's take a look at the port right here all right and right here these are all the sensors so when your child and your your dog walk by they can detect it and turn it to a blue light or if you are reading on the screen it's able to detect it and turn the blue light on it doesn't hurt your eyes so let's plug it in see what it does okay guys so this one is set up already i went through the setup with the wi-fi and my echo device that's why you see it's blinking right there it's ready so i can just speak into the microphone here and it should take any commands okay that's one cool thing about it wi-fi already connected detected my time zone uh, here you can go to settings there's a lot in here that you can do uh, connect your network currently using my e Ethernet um, Wi-Fi and the source original signal is local because uh, I connected to my phone audio you want to boot audio you can turn that on off audio mode I switch it to cinema um, and the speaker is 
currently connected to this uh, local uh, device which is you know the device itself projection settings always turn the eye pro protection mode on right here because that's going to protect your eyes from you know or anybody eyes from looking directly into that uh, projection screen the brightness uh, currently all the way I think yes we can hit auto blue light mode turn that on as you can see that's gonna uh, make your eyes feel better at night so during the day it's dark enough so I can use that keystone correction manually adjust the display the image flattening is actually really really cool so if you have an even wall it's gonna flatten it out and make your screen look flat so as you can see here my projection screen has some lines right here because the wrinkles and stuff it's gonna clear that out but you would have to uh, play with it digital zoom auto focus on Calibration, perfection mode, frontal. Uh, so, when it's loaded, there's nothing added to this device, which is cool. You don't, you don't want any, you know, um, junk applications in here. So, you have file, which is kind of like a browser. You can go to your local file or even connect it to your network. Go to Lancer. You can do that also up here you can see installation package that you can actually plug your USB in and then install the APK package I guess eShare everything you can connect it with the web browser right there cool JMGO again App Store so when you go to the App Store you can actually see that I already installed YouTube and HBO Max so let's see YouTube for a second see the quality uh, I don't know which one to, to look at but uh, let's see Pawn Stars Pretty good. What is this? Well, I'm not 100% sure, but it looks like it That's could a be speaker like a really old right down here. Directly from the device. Is, uh, George the Third and resolution and adventure. It's pretty good. Sales Very impressive with the audio right there. Seventy two. It's not this that bad. Right? Resolution and adventure were Captain Cook's ships. Okay, you know who he was? Was he the pirate from Peter Pan or something? Wrong dude. Okay. <laughs> Very good quality. I was out my grandma's house and uh, found it in one of the boxes. I had no idea that she was into like collecting things like that. I would try you know, to see the gesture I have no idea. things, but I, I haven't really tested that out. The coin or, uh, I figured maybe so a there you go. It's pretty good. Pretty, pretty good device. Let's see some uh, music. Wow, the sound is crazy. As you can see, really cool. Well, that's all, guys. Hope you liked the video. It's an awesome device. I can't uh, do too much due to the size of the video to uh, upload it on Amazon. But man, there's so much I can do with this. Check it out.